When converting existing cross-section types into an edit curve in OpenVSP, you need to be careful of the type of cross-section that you're trying to convert and think about what might happen or what problems OpenVSP might have when it's trying to approximate, say, a, a more complex cross-section with an edit curve type. So there are some that lend themselves very well to this conversion. We'll take a look at those. But in this example model here, I've made a copy of a fuselage component. And the interior one is in red. This outer one here is in green. And so what should happen is that as we convert these cross-section types, any deviation from the surface or the details in the cross-section should show up as a red poking through the surface. Now on this first one, we're going to start with an ellipse and do a convert C edit to see what happens. And we're going to update and make sure that um, the visualization here in the workspace is updated. So if we're going back into edit curve, you can see that all this did was basically initialize this as a circle with um, a cubic bezier and the height and width are set. So no deviation whatsoever. This is basically an exact recreation of an ellipse using a cubic bezier. So no real surprises there. The next one, uh, if you'll remember from trying to initialize these cross-section types, a rounded rectangle is basically a straight-sided shape with radius, which we know that edit curve already has. So if we convert this, no real surprise, we have four straight sides with a set radius. Now recall that those radii are directly imported from whatever the parameters were for that cross-section here. So this is a physical radial dimension. So we've got those all set. But again, if we look at our model here, no surprise that it exactly recreates that shape. So let's move on to something a little bit more complex. In this case, we're going to deal with this super ellipse. Now a super ellipse has a well-defined mathematical shape using these M and N exponents. And we can even apply some anti-symmetry or move the maximum width location around but watch what happens. We're going to convert this C edit, and on the surface, it looks like it did just fine. But let's make sure that the GUI updates, and now we can see that there is a problem. So if we zoom in on this cross section, you can see that right here, it's kind of pushing a little bit out and diving in and coming out and then coming around to this point. So right in this region, it's missed the the actual shape by just a little bit it dove in a little bit too hard so if you happen to have say a chined fuselage where you need a super ellipse something like that that is exactly defined by those m and n exponents stick with that until you find a need to actually convert it into something else but uh, things like a general fuselage or rounded rectangle or ellipses, those are all very easily defined by an edit curve. More specifically, when you're dealing with something that's a very complex fuselage shape that might be based on like an insided polygon or something that's not necessarily symmetric, edit curve is basically going to be your best friend. But if you're trying to convert and recapture an existing cross-section type from OpenVSP, make sure you have a real need to do so. For example, if you just wanted to take this initial shape, kind of nudge this out a little bit and make something slightly different, sure, it's a place to start. But don't always expect Edit Curve to be able to exactly recreate some of these more complex shapes.